Hello YouTube, Dylan the Shadal Duelist here, coming at you guys. <clears throat> Hello YouTube, Dylan the Shadal Duelist here, back at it. <sighs> Hello YouTube, Dylan the Shadal Duelist here, back with three brand new duel replays for you guys to enjoy today, covering uh, a deck that I've actually sort of fallen in love with uh, while testing out and uh, getting these duels for you guys, and that is Plunder Patrol. Um, now, I did mention in my last duel replay video with the Shadal Dragma deck that Plunder Patrol, I found, was a really interesting deck that kind of cheated their extra deck monsters out with their own effects, and it's it's honestly really interesting. So, these are some interesting uh, Plunder Patrol duels I brought, I'm bringing you guys, and honestly... Uh, the deck, now that it has new support, has got so much better. Um, now, I know that the first waves uh, of Plunder Patrol people really weren't all that... Um, didn't have high hopes for it, just because they sort of started with the most bare bones of support, which is totally fair and fine. Um, however, with the uh, next wave of support coming out in Eternity Code, uh, Plunder Patrol actually has enough toys that they can get the ball running, and they're actually really good. And this is one of the reasons why Golden Hair, the newest Plunder Patrol, she's an amazing card. And uh, I'll go over through all of them. So as you can see, we're facing off against uh, Invoked Dragma here, uh, and he starts off with the Mechaba and a, an Impermanence, which doesn't really hurt us too much. So what we're going to do is obviously we're going to draw, and uh, we're going to use uh, Golden Hair's effect, and what she does is... You can set another Plunder Patrol monster from your hand or field to the graveyard in order to special summon her. And that works really well because the other Plunder Patrol monsters get effects off when they're sent to the graveyard. Uh, so it's really good. So as you can see here, we're going to send Whitebeard, the Plunder Patrol Helm, uh, to the graveyard in order to get Golden Hair out. And then his effect is going to activate in order to special summon a Plunder Patrol from deck. That's his effect. However, we are going to get Ash there, which isn't the end of the world, uh, because we are are going to activate Desire. So in a way, we did bait the um, Ash out for Desires, and we're going to get two new cards, which is fantastic. Um, and as you guys can probably tell, Dangers work really well in Plunder Patrol, simply because if you discard uh, a Plunder Patrol monster off of a Danger card, you still get that uh, their uh, unique effect off. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate Jackalope. It's going to get sent to the graveyard, uh, and then we're going to special summon Golden Hair. Uh, sorry, we're going to special summon uh, Moth, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to get Redbeard, the Plunder Patrol matey, uh, on the field. And this is now, you guys can probably see where we're going with this. Um, because of Golden Hair, you can, you've opened up a lot of possibilities uh, in order to summon monsters, such as Bahamut Shark, because uh, Plunder Patrol are all, the main deck monsters at least, are all water monsters, and they're all level 4, which is fantastic, so you can do uh, Bahamut Toad, however, we are unfortunately going to get Mechabud, which is fine, because we are going to be able to get Golden Hair back out, and summon Blackbeard, the Plunder Patrol Captain, which is fantastic, um, so we're going to activate Pot of Average, which is, again, a great card in this deck, and then what we're going to do is, because he has Mechabud, in the grave, we are going to be able to summon Plunder Patrol Ship Lists using uh, Blackbeard's effect, using Bluebeard as uh, as an equip card. So, in case you guys aren't really sure what Plunder Patrols do, I am just going to do a quick overview. They cheat out their extra deck monsters. They have a Fusion, an Xyz, and a Synchro Monster. Uh, Lists is one of the new cards that are com is coming out of I in Eternity Code. And they all have different things. Uh, the Xyz monster banishes monsters, lists, negates effects, and the Synchro banishes spell and trap cards. So, Plunder Patrol have a lot going with them. And this is another one of their new cards, Emblem of the Plunder Patrol. And as you're going to see here, uh, it nets us um, an attack boost, but then you can also use it to cheat out a Plunder Patrol extra deck monster. And then the monster that was equipped with Emblem becomes equipped to that uh, Plunder Patrol ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack, and despite all the negations and disruptions, we've ended on a pretty uh, good board. We have some disruption. Uh, we can always summon another monster with uh, Blackbeard, so we are going to... So th and again, this is how we're going to get around... Um, 
the infinite and permanence here. Uh, we're going to negate the Alistair. He is going to attempt to negate list with impermanence, but I am going to activate Blackbeard, which will summon the Plunder Patrol ship Mowark and then attach list as a uh, equip card dodging the impermanence as you guys will be able to see here so that's what's really great about plunder patrol especially with blackbeard and especially now in master rule five um you know we don't have to necessarily restrict ourselves to only summoning to uh, blackbeard's position so as you can see we just win here because we do have the um field spell which is amazing and then more Urk, like i said it can uh banish a monster uh, a special summon monster you do unfortunately have to have a plunder patrol ship card in your hand to uh send to the graveyard but i mean as you can see we did have uh, some really good advantages here all he had in his hand was shadal rook and effect veiler while we had a really good hand honestly because we could easily just pitch the twin twisters to get a search off for plunder patrol ship yard um making moark live so as you can see it's honestly you really shouldn't underestimate plunder patrol ship now before yeah they weren't very good uh because and they barely had any monsters to work with unfortunately that was um oh sorry that was uh that was the thing so we are facing off necros here uh in our second game we are going to desires get the plunder patrol ship field spell we're going to send jackalope to search for a card and then we're going to get uh mothman up and as you can see here now we're going for the bahamut toad play again which is going to get impermanence um this is honestly though if you can get it off the bahamut shark uh toad play is one of the best first turn plays you can make because it not only protects you from nibiru but if your opponent doesn't have Nibir, you have a Toad on the field for next turn, which is another level of negation. So we are going to just summon up our Red Beard. We're going to get Black Beard off. Uh, use Plunder Patrol ship uh, Emblem of the Pl Plunder Patrol to get Mowark on the field. Um, we fortunately don't have, uh, once again, uh, Mowark's not live, but Blackbeard fixes that by attaching itself as material, uh, sorry, uh, uh, attaching itself as an equip card to List, which we can get on the field because he has Senju of the Thousand Hands. So there, now we have some monster negation, and Mowark is live because we have another emblem in our hand now, because um, when you activate Blackbeard's effect, he nets you a uh, draw. So... We are going to, he is going to activate Necroz Mirror and get Bryonic on the field. He is going to attempt to use uh, the effect of Cyber Angel Benten, which we are going to negate. Uh, and then we're also going to, what we're going to do is before he can bounce the list back to our uh, extra deck, because he can do that with Bryonic, um, what list can do is he can act is it can actually special summon one of your p plunder patrol monsters that are attached as an equip card in your spell and trap card zone so that's what we're going to do before he can to get our black beard back unfortunately it's not going to do much but we still have bahamut shark on the field so what we can do is get toad on back onto the field now and then get rid of suchinoko in order to get a search get suchinoko back on the field activate pot of avarice and get all those cards back in our deck get our golden hair back on the field with bl uh, Bluebeard, uh, link off into Blackbeard. And as you can see, guys, now we have uh, multiple negations on board. And it, this is just a really powerful field when you think about it, because uh, Shipyard boosts your Plunder Patrol monster's attack for uh, 500 for every uh, Plunder Patrol card in your spell and trap card zone. So List is already right now at 25, Blackbeard's at 21. We have... Two negations, one with Toad and one with Liss, and then um, the ability to bring out whatever we want using Blackbeard, that we are able to at least. So, heading into main phase uh, one, he's going to try and activate Necro's Mirror's uh, search effect. We are going to Ash Blossom it, we're going to negate the Manju with Totally Awesome, and he just ends it. And I mean, the, the thing is, as well, guys, uh, Necro's is not a weak deck. It's a pretty good rogue strategy i think especially if you combine it with dragma because once again um necroz is just one of those decks that kind of hate on the extra deck and dragma help with that so if you guys are interested in seeing a necroz dragma deck let me know and i'll gladly be able to 
bring that to you guys. So our last game is going to be Plunder Patrol versus Shadal Relinquished, which I found to be really interesting. Um, Relinquished is a pretty fun strategy, very, very casual, but it, it's still fun nonetheless. So he is going to activate pre-prep. We are going to negate that with Ash. He is going to summon Sangan, get El Mirage, and then add, I believe it was Relinquished with Sangan's effect, and then get Millennium Eyes on the field, which is a pretty okay, uh, I'm not going to, okay, it's, having Millennium Eyes on the field is okay, because it can obviously negate a monster effect and then attach it as material, so we are, what we're going to do is we're going to activate Twin Twisters, get rid of the Super Poly, and try and bait out, um, uh, did I not activate, or I did activate not Mothman, so he didn't negate Mothman, so we are going to get, uh, Patrol Ship and have our Golden Hair, he is going to negate our uh white beard though which is fine because we do have golden hair now if you saw what i did um P plunder patrol ship shape ships shipping is their fusion spell uh you're not really going to be using it for fusion summoning though what you're going to be doing is banishing it from the graveyard to equip either a plunder patrol monster from your deck to a monster you control or emblem of the plunder patrol and that's what we're going to be doing here and as you guys have already seen you can use Emblem to cheat out a monster. So we are going to cheat out Moork and uh, banish the Millennium Eyes. Let's have a 2,000 attack Moork on the field, and that's it. Now we have another bounce live because we have Plunder Patrol Party in our hand. Uh, so we are going to draw into a an another copy of uh, Ship Shaping. We are going to send the party to the grave with uh, Shipyard and get Whitebeard on the field. And what we're going to do is attach Bluebeard uh, to Whitebeard with uh, Ship Shaping. Ship Shipping. It's honestly a great card. So as you can see here, here comes the Shadal portion. He had Squamata in the grave. He was able to get rid of my uh, Moork, which is fine. I do go into Blackbeard and get Redbeard on the field with Plunger Patrol Party equipped. Now what you, this card does, this is another one of the new cards, um... If you control a Plunder Patrol monster, you draw cards equal to the number of equipped cards you control, plus one, then shuffle. It's sort of like a Phantasme for the deck, where you shuffle, you draw cards plus one to a number, and uh, in Phantasme's case, it is to equal to the level of a Link monster summon plus one. This is to the, to the number of equipped cards you have plus one, and then you shuffle back the same number of cards um, as the either the link rating for Phantasme, obviously, or the number of equipped cards you control. So it's an interesting card. What it, uh, what its better application is, though, is if you summon a Plunder Patrol monster from the extra deck, uh, I believe... Yeah, from the extra deck, you can attach this card from your graveyard as an equipped card that gives it a 500 attack boost. So... What we're going to do here is we're going to cheat out another Moork with Blackbeard and then get Red, uh, Redbeard as material. We're going to banish the Verte Anaconda before it can do any damage, uh, get our Golden Hair on the field, and there's really not much he can do at this point. So we're going to activate Pot of Avarice. This card is nuts in the deck, uh, not even going to lie. Uh, and then we're going to activate uh, Danger Jackalope. And as you can see, now we're again with the Bahamut Shark uh, things. And yeah, he just saw... I'm pretty sure I had game, uh, 22, 26, 31, yeah, I, I had game here, so as you can see, uh, Plunder Patrol is actually, I, I'm not gonna say it's, uh, even a, ro I mean, it could be a rogue strategy, I don't know, um, this is probably not the best Plunder Patrol, uh, build to go with, but I honestly do believe, depending on any future support the archetype might get, Plunder Patrol has a lot of promise already in one wave of support so much so many of the initial problems of the deck has been solved so onto the deck itself we're running three whitebeard the plunder patrol helm uh him and redbeard share the effect where during your opponent's turn you can special summon a plunder patrol monster from your extra deck with the same attribute as a monster your opponent controls or is in their grave and then equip them to that monster as an equip card. Uh, Whitebeard's uh, unique effect is, as I mentioned, if he's sent to from the hand or field to the graveyard, you can special summon a Plunder Patrol monster from the deck. He's one of the best ones. You definitely want to be running three of him. 
Next is Bluebeard, the Pl Plunder Patrol Shipwright. Uh, and he's one of the new cards. He special summons himself from the hand if you already control a Plunder Patrol monster. Uh, and then if he's sent from the hand or monster zone to the graveyard, you can discard a card to draw a card. So he's basically a reverse Dark World Dealings. Dark World Dealings, you draw a card first, then you discard a card. Um, and that's because this is a cost. So this guy plus... Golden Hair is going to be the easiest way for you guys to get Bahamut Shark on the field because what you typically want to do is you either want to special summon Golden Hair using her effect or normal summon her and then special summon Bluebeard. Um, and that is a Bahamut Shark right there. So speaking of Golden Hair, we have Golden Hair, the newest Plunder Patrol. She's another three of in the deck. Uh, she really gets helps get your combo play started. Uh, again, you can send a Plunder Patrol monster card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon her. And then if she's in your graveyard, you can discard a card and that's a cost, special summon her. But then for the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon monsters except Plunder Patrol monsters, which is not a problem because what you're typically going to do is you're going to summon up Bahamut Shark you're using uh, Golden Hair and more than likely Bluebeard. You're going to send Golden Hair to the graveyard for Bahamut Shark effect to get Toad on the field, and then you combo off from there. You use Golden Hair's effect to summon herself back. Uh, you should have another Plunger Patrol card in your hand or field by this time, hopefully, uh, and then you're going to combo off from there using Golden Hair, summoning herself back from Grave. So, fantastic card. Uh, and then you're running to Redbeard, the Plunder Patrol matey. Out of all the Plunder Patrol main deck monsters, I feel like he's the weakest. Um, his unique effect is basically just equip himself when he's sent from the monster zone or the hand to the field. That's all he does. He equips himself to a Plunder Patrol monster. Not that strong, but again, he's a level 4, um, and that could come into play sometimes, so that's why I run two of him. And then you have the Danger Package, one Nessie, one uh, Suchinoko, and one Jackalope. Uh, they all trigger the effects of the Plunder Patrol monsters when they're sent to the graveyard. One Danger Bigfoot, it's it's okay removal, plus a nice body. And then three Mothman to help dig you deeper into your deck. For you to dig deeper into your deck. And then three Ash Blossom for uh, search negation. Onto the spells and traps, uh, we have three Plunder Patrol ship, shape, ships, shipping. God, that is a mouthful. <laughs> so, what this card does, like I mentioned before, it's uh, it's the archetypal fusion spell. Uh, that's how you uh, they want you to get lists on the field, or at least that's how it looks on the surface. But when it's in your graveyard, you're going to banish it to uh, more than likely equip Emblem of, Plunder of the Plunder Patrol from your deck directly to a monster. Emblem of the Plunder Patrol itself is a really fantastic card, and this is another one of the new wave of support. Equip it to a Plunder Patrol monster, it gains 500 attack, and then your opponent can't target it with card effects, which is a decent layer of protection with a nice uh, stat boost. Um, what you're more than likely going to be using this for, however, is you're going to send this card to the graveyard and then special summon a Plunder Patrol monster from your extra deck, again, with the same attribute as a monster on the field or in the graveyard. And then the monster that was equipped with Emblem equips itself to the special summon monster. And then the equipped monster gains a 500, uh, 500 attack boost. So, honestly, really, really solid card and Emblem of the Plunder Patrols. And that was the issue. Plunder Patrol, outside of Bluebeard, uh, Blackbeard, you had to wait until your opponent's turn 90% of the time in order to get one of your ships on field. Now, with uh, ship shape ship shipping with emblem you have so many more opportunities to do this so obviously now we have the field spell uh, plunder patrol shipyard which came out in the initial set uh initial release of the archetype you guys know what it does discard a card add a plunder patrol from your deck to your hand and then if it's in your graveyard you can target a plunder patrol card and your spell and trap card you set this card and return the target to the hand plus also all your plunder patrol monsters get 500 attack for each plunder patrol card in the spell and trap card zone pretty basic. Um, two part of desires because we all know how painful it is to activate desires and draw into another copy of desires. So two desires. Uh, two avarice. 
I'm hesitant on maxing out on this because this card is amazing recursion in this deck because you will have so many of your plunder patrol monsters in the grape and being able to recycle them especially the extra deck monsters is amazing however maxing out on them i feel like is a bad idea due to it not being turn one even turn two it, it may not be live there are going to be um there are going to be situations where yeah you can definitely activate pot of avarice turn one if you uh open the nuts but most games not really one terraforming because you really want to get to your shipyard three twin twisters because you do want to go second with this deck um you can go for, uh don't get me wrong the option to, of going first is definitely there especially with bahamut shark uh toad but going second it works better because then it allows you to get your opponent's field and graveyard set up so you have the most options of what you can summon um plus also twin twisters being a cost does not affect uh all any of these monsters and certainly doesn't affect the dangers so that's why i'm uh maxing out on twin twisters and then two of the plunder patrol ship uh plunder patrol party already went over what it does it's a, it's a solid card so onto the extra deck we have three plunder patrol ship lists uh it requires two plunder patrol monsters but again doesn't really matter you're very rarely going to be summoning this monster using uh plunder patrol you, you their fusion spell so what it does is during the main phase you can special summon a plunder and this is a quick effect uh you can special summon a plunder patrol monster from your hand or face up spell and field trap zone uh to your side of the field and then if your opponent activates a monster effect you can discard one plunder patrol card and negate the activation and destroy it and then if list was equipped with a plunder patrol card you can add a plunder patrol card from your deck to your hand I really like Liss. I finally think, I, I really think it's one of the better options. I mean, don't get me wrong. Mowork and to a less ex lesser extent, depending on the matchup, Bran are really good as well. But in order for Mowork and Bran to be quick effects, they need to be equipped with a Plunder Patrol monster. Liss doesn't need that. No matter if it's equipped or not, its negation effect is a quick effect, which is fantastic, and then it gets rewarded. Uh, there's an additional incentive for having a Plunder Patrol monster equipped to it. I wish that was the route they had gone with Mowork and Bran, because having to have them be equipped for it to be a quick effect really does hamper their usefulness. However, they're not bad cards, and chances are, especially if you use uh, Blackbeard, you're going to have a Plunder Patrol monster equipped to them. So that's list 2,000 attack, 2,000 defense, decent body. Um, then we have Plunder Patrol ship Mowork. This is a, you can discard a Plunder Patrol ship card to target an effect monster your opponent controls and banish it and then add a Plunder Patrol ship spell and trap card from your deck to your hand. Fantastic card. Uh, removes monsters from your opponent's side of the field while netting you a search again. It requires it to be, uh, in order for it to be a quick effect, it does need to be equipped with a Plunder Patrol ship monster. That's unfortunate, but whatever. And then if you happen to special, if you happen to Xyz summon this card normally, uh, you can detach an Xyz material from it and to protect a Plunder Patrol uh, card that would be destroyed by battle or card effect. So again, a, a pretty decent extra for summoning this normally, let's say. Um... On to our just generic Xyz. The only generic generic Xyz monster we're going to be running is Bahamut Shark. Again, because Bahamut, Bahamut Toad is fantastic in this deck. Protects you from Nibiru, which this deck can really be hurt from. Uh, and then also just general good disruption for your opponent's turn. Two Plunder Patrol Ship Bran. This is a Synchro Monster. All Fiend Monsters you control gain 500 attack, which is really nice. Uh, and then you can discard a Plunder Patrol Ship card and target one spell and trap card your opponent controls, banish it, then add a Plunder Patrol Ship Monster from deck to hand. Again, only a quick effect if it has a Plunder Patrol Monster equipped. It's great spot rem removal. Uh, Bran is definitely a card you want when you're facing extra deck heavy, um, extra deck heavy decks. I'm sorry, 
back row heavy decks. Um, it, it, and the fact that it banishes really helps as well against cards like, let's say, Lost Wind or cards that can recur themselves. So Bran is a decent card. Again, it's it's really matchup specific. Running two because its boosting effect is just generally nice. And then also being able to search a Plunder Patrol monster, again, is nice. And then onto the Link monsters, we're running three Blackbeard, the Plunder Patrol Captain. He is the captain for a reason. Um, he requires two monsters, including at least one Plunder Patrol monster, so that's, again, why having the dangers help, because he doesn't require two Plunder Patrol uh, monsters. So, a quick effect is he can target an effect monster you control, special summon a Plunder Patrol monster from the extra deck with the same attribute as a monster your opponent controls or is in their graveyard, and then equip that targeted monster to the card and then draw a card. So he can target himself, or let's say you have golden hair, you have blue beard, you have white beard, you have any of these, even one of your danger monsters. Uh, you really do want one of these guys though. So if you summon Mowork or you summon Bran or even less, at least with Mowork and Bran, their quick effects are live. So you definitely want to be maxing out on Blackbeard, in my opinion, at least. Uh, I am testing out Tau Tai Dragon, which is, I think, a new TCG exclusive that's coming out in uh, Eternity Code. It seems like an interesting card to run. It's a Link 3 uh, that gains effects based on the card types used for its Link Summon. Um, fusion, your opponent can't activate monster effects during the battle phase, so kind of like an Ancient Gear effect there. Synchro, your opponent cannot activate spell and trap cards during, the main, during your main phase. Not as good. I, I would have preferred it if it was monster effects, because then they couldn't ash blossom you, but then again, I guess that could be broken. And then Xyz. Your opponent cannot activate the effects of cards in the graveyard during your main phase or battle phase. So my reasoning for this is you're running all three cards in this in this deck. You're running Fusion, Synchro, and Xyz. So I, I felt like having Tau Tai Dragon as an option would be cute. Um, I've yet to find a reason to summon it, though, so I digress. And then finally, uh, Unchained Abomination, I, I thought throwing it in here probably would be better to have something like Boral Sword in here, but Unchained Abomination is cute as it can destroy cards, you can destroy, um, one of your own pl uh, Plunder Patrol monsters to get an effect off, and then get to pop a card your opponent controls. It it's in, it's a tech, I'm, again... Though, no reason to summon it, I have found. Uh, probably run Boral Sword over this. But that is my Plunder Patrol ship, uh, my Plunder Patrol deck for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, Plunder Patrol is definitely an archetype that really went from being, unfortunately, trash, really, no reason to run it, to, okay, we have a decent foundation here that given more support, could potentially, I think, see mild rogue success, I would say. I, I don't know if I would say unless they got some broken cards. I, I doubt this could become meta, but Plunder Patrol definitely has a lot of things going for it, especially with this new wave of support opening up things, like I said, like Bahamut Toad, and also they thrive in the new Master Rule as well. So it's definitely something to look at, definitely something to play around with, um, but you let me guys, but you guys let me know what you think of Plunder Patrol. Are you guys excited for the new support coming out in Eternity Code? Do you think Plunder Patrol has potential or do you do you, do you think I'm overestimating it or underestimating it definitely let me know down in the comments below but if you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and be sure to ring that notification bell so you never miss an upload until next time guys this is Dylan the Shadal Duelist signing out